right, everyone. Today we have yet another transfer student. Is this really our third one? Guess that makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, not so loud. It's nice to meet you. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work. And that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. Hey there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? All right. Here, Mochizuki kun. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki kun? Sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see. Right, could you come along too? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekoda. I mean, D Mr. Ekoda has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. 
Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team too. I'd like to join one too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I noticed you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music. How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Great! Here goes. If I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet. So I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Likewise. Mm, thanks. Somehow, it already feels like we've known each other for a long time. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right! I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. Marvelous. 
I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Most excellent. Now, let's hear your report. My apologies. I will await a report of success. Of course. I will await a report of success. Very well, then. Good day. I shall be waiting, then. Here are my requests. Very well, then. Accepting a request? Wonderful. Oh, my. If I may say so. Await a report of success. Very well, then. Je 
morning. step out for a bit I want you to come to the station with me I'll tell you more there sorry to make you come all the way here I um, suddenly have no idea what to do with my life anymore do I want to be a doctor or do I want to be an artist I've decided to do a little soul searching and I won't go back home or to school until I figure it out I haven't figured out exactly where I'll go, but it has to be somewhere away from home. I've got plenty of money. I may have taken my dad's credit card from his wallet. I'm glad we had a chance to talk before I left. Tell the others I said goodbye. Don't say that. You're gonna make this harder for me. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. Damn, are you all right? That cough. She's having trouble breathing and she's running a fever. This is bad. I may be jumping to conclusions here, but sorry about this. I knew it. She's a smoker. This is really bad. I think she suffers from chronic bronchitis. So if she caught a cold, it may have exacerbated the symptoms. Call an ambulance. Hurry! We'll leave the rest to the paramedics. Well, I better get going. My chest! Sir, are you okay? My train's about to leave. What should I do? That's not important right now. I'll go ask the station attendant to call an ambulance. You stay here and perform first aid on him. someone wait I think he's going into cardiac arrest um let's sit him in an upright position oh no he's breathing and signs of cyanosis 
I have to do something. I have to or this man will die. I need your help. Lay him down on his back, gently. Now, if I perform CPR while giving him a cardiac massage, At least I helped him as much as I could. Thank you. I don't think I would have had the confidence on my own. I'm really glad you were here with me. We both saved their lives. go back home. I finally know what I really want. That said, I'm not looking forward to apologizing to my dad. All right then, I'll see you at school. Like this, I guess? Welcome. I'll be taking care of you today. Are you ready to order, or do you need a little more time? Hmm. It's too bad the school festival got cancelled. I already went to all the trouble of putting this on, so maybe I should wear it around the dorm for the day. Hmm. Sup, Yucatan? Hey! Does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Takiba? You planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? <sighs> Forget it. I've been meaning to return this, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform. Huh. It's not just a costume. Oh, I should take a picture before I give this back to Senpai. Are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, one sec! I know. I'll drag Fuka down with me. At least then I won't be alone in the embarrassment. Yukari-chan! Those clothes! I've got a couple spares if you want to try one on. How about it? Huh? Um, 
wait! Don't worry. Just hold still. It's a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Oh, wait! Yukari-chan! So then, I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called Kesara Sara. It's down this way. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru-san a gift. And uh, I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Maybe it's too dangerous. But supposedly, it's only open at night. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm totally okay. I don't want you to go out of your way for that. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. I borrowed a computer from Fuka-san and gathered some information. Mitsuru-san seems to know her teas well, so I figured I shouldn't give her anything weird. I... I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. Thanks. I feel a lot better hearing you say that. I thought about it a lot, and this is the best I could come up with. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> nah, it's nothing. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since 
what had happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself, but how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start, but I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day, and I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> oh, I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. Right. I might try some more things later on, too, but... For now, at least, I think I have an idea of how to live my life again. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. You think so? Well, that's how I feel, at least. You're always leading the way and giving everyone courage. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? Are my requests. It doesn't seem like we've been far apart. 
I've been waiting for you. Gekukan High School, a place of learning. It's quite a shock that such a warm, illustrious institution transforms into Tartarus every night. Oh dear, what a conundrum. Everyone here seems to have a predetermined form of attire. I fear I may draw too much attention. I hope this won't pose a problem. Please excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. If I stay hidden from view this way, then there won't be a problem, correct? Now then, the school awaits. This is a pleasant surprise. To think there would be a bastion of commerce within a house of academia. Could you please wait here for a moment? There's something I've been curious about for a while. Excuse me, I would like to purchase a school lunch. Um, sorry? They don't deal in school lunches here? How disappointing. I would have liked a taste of this school lunch, as it is a rare delicacy only served in select facilities. Well, in that case, I shall order some bread. I've heard that having bread for lunch is part of the school experience. Now that I've checked that off the list, let us proceed. As for where I'd like to go next, shall we visit your home room? So this is a classroom. With so many students and desks, it's no wonder there's hardly any space between them. But perhaps... Ah, I see. It's designed this way to foster a sense of harmony between classmates. I can sense the care put into this arrangement. This observation post must be what they call a podium. Hmm, interesting. When I stand here, I do feel a longing to teach well up inside of me. <gasps> First question. Between diet food and super diet food, which is more delicious? That is incorrect. As a penalty for giving the wrong answer, you shall receive your own portion of diet food. <laughs> is this what a classroom lecture is like? The quizzical stares are beginning to make me feel unsettled. Let us carry on with the tour. This humanoid figure... Did they seal him inside the plaster to prevent him from escaping? I imagine it would be quite cramped in there. Truth be told, I do have some experience playing the piano. Are you familiar with the Velvet Song? now <laughs> Experiencing student life for myself today has broadened my perspective of your world. I'd very much appreciate it if you could accompany me again sometime. <sighs> to be honest, I don't entirely understand my own motives for coming here. But as I walked closely with you, I... How should I express this? I felt very fulfilled. Perhaps 
What I really wanted to learn at school was more about you. But why? In any case, discovering the reason for this desire will surely serve as an intriguing diversion. Let us return now. Thank you once again for acting as my guide. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. No. Well, perhaps another time. Come to think of it. I will await a report of success. Very well, then. Are my requests wonderful come to think of it Listen. Of today, I am quitting the club. I'd like a new club leader to be chosen from the second years. Oh, why? Where is this coming from? I have to study for my entrance exams. Wait, so then... I'm going to med school, getting my license, and becoming a doctor. Did your dad say you had to quit because you have to take over the hospital? My dad has nothing to do with this. I made this decision for myself. I'm going to have to turn down the opportunity to study abroad. And since I'm so behind on my studies, I'll have to pull a lot of all-nighters to catch up. 
I really enjoyed leading the club. So thank you all for everything. There's something different about you, KSK Senpai. You seem way more confident. Hey, you're giving me too much credit. Hey, can we talk upstairs? After today, we won't be able to chat like this anymore. Which is why I wanted to give this to you now. This arrived yesterday. It turns out I earned an honorable mention. But the top prizes ended up going to a couple other artists. It made me realize I still have a lot to learn. Like mastering the basics for starters. Studying for the med school entrance exams is going to be hard, and this would only distract me. That's why I want you to have it. Thanks. Funny how it seems like I'm always asking you for favors, even though I'm older than you. Remember how we helped those people at the station? They all have important people in their lives, just like how you're an important person in my life. If they had died, I never would have gotten to be with those people again. So that's why I'm becoming a doctor. Uh, I'm not coming off as arrogant, am I? <laughs> See? I can be the reliable one sometimes too, you know? I did used to be the club leader after all. It feels like I went in a huge circle and ended up right back where I started. And I know it might look like it, but I'm not doing this because my dad's a doctor. I'm doing this because I want to be a doctor. And if you ever need an emergency operation, I'll oversee the surgery myself. I mean, if I keep you alive, we get to spend more time together. is everything. It's best if you never even have to see a doctor. Do you get the proper nutrients living in the dorm? Let's pick up something healthy for you to eat on the way home.
welcome. Yes. Which one? You've come at a good time. There are some new items you can create. You're sure about this, right? Here you go. Thanks for waiting. So, what will it be? So, what will it be? You're sure about this, right? Here, it's all yours. You're sure about this, right? Here you go, thanks for waiting. Here, here, it's all yours. Here, sure, here, it's all yours. Here, sure, here, it's all yours. What would you like? Are you sure? Here you go, thanks for waiting. What would you like? I never felt like. I never felt like. Go on, look around. You like that one? Did that all right? I'll trade you for this. How many? Have you? We have a deal. Everything good? Hope to see you soon. my requests. Let's hear the results. Oh my! Most excellent! Now, let's hear your report. Excellent. Now, let's hear your report. Very well, then. You 
have my thanks. Here it is. In this scene, the main character says, that ass better not crack under pressure. Usually, people's asses are already cracked. Yours is as well, right? I understand. But please tell me someday. For now, I will put the question on hold. Currently, this is the only section that I am unclear on. But I suspect that if I continue reading, I will encounter even more confusing phrases. If you don't mind, could I ask you to read with me until the end? Thank you very much. With your help, I've been able to update my records with new information. Apparently, this book has a sequel. If it is possible, I would like to read with you again sometime. It's gotten rather late. We should head back to our rooms. Or should I say, our turfs. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. W is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Qu quit messing with us! Give me your phone! <laughs> 
I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. <laughs> Is that what you call it? That wasn't really my intention. All right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. A great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Wow, that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. Uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. Should we wrap up for the night? 